there's a lot of people who, who are studying or working at institutions in Nigeria and in West Africa generally who don't have much opportunity to really put into effect what they're learning in theory. So this is really molecular biology but very much hands-on so they can learn techniques such as DNA extraction, running gels, polymerase chain reaction, etc. Before I ever know there are some equipment, some machines that I've never even seen in my life that in fact the first day we came here introduced all these machines to us and then with this now I've I have it now at least I can actually go to any lab and then get any of my samples, work with it and then getting a kind of a degree. This I'm I'm like I'm currently doing my MIT, so at least doing the PhD to molecular aspect, then as soon as I just become a lecturer so that I can impact knowledge to other young people that are coming so they will know about molecular work and so on. I had the opportunity of um, coming across, and not only coming across, reusing uh, many of uh, these equipment that I only came about. Or I came across them in books, and uh, it's inspiring. I plan on using this knowledge, especially in the area of crop breeding, to advance um, my uh, knowledge, especially in uh, genetic gains. Ants on molecular training is one of the germane um, knowledge one has to seek in order to be able to establish your research work. You were able to obtain a certificate from this training. So that certificate will serve as a leverage in applying for scholarship and other opportunities. The training was very interesting, very educative. I never worked in a lab before. So this is my first time to manipulate the micropapets and all those uh, equipment that we saw here. And here we were able to practice, to know how to extract DNA, to know how to run a PCR, and also to know how to do a sequence and how to use it, where should, you, should, uh, should it be used, and how to understand it. So it was very interesting. The expectations are really that they will get experience in some of the basic hands-on methods in molecular biology. At the same time, we look at the understanding of why we're doing things in a particular way. And we can see from the course outcomes. Even based on the assessment we did for them, it's made us to understand that they've gained even much more than what were expected. So their expectations were duly met from this training. And also that the there's been some good networking opportunities um, for, the, for the trainees within IITA, which will hopefully stand them in good stead for the future as well. If we have chosen to be on this line, we have to read, we have to be key, you know, ahead of the knowledge, and we have to make sure whenever we get the knowledge, we make the best use of it. That's the one for the ones who had the opportunity or who were lucky to be here. And seven days or five days is not enough to have everything. But at least it has given them the flavor that they can actually go beyond and study more. And whenever there are opportunities, they can use this in their CV to get, go somewhere and do more. The ones who couldn't get this chance, I would say that they would also need to read. Reading makes a lot of, you know, you can get a lot of knowledge through reading. Hands-on, if not today, if you are, you know, have a lot of depth of knowledge, if you apply for, you know, in online or somewhere, if you can do a good proposal with your in-depth knowledge from your reading or understanding, somewhere, someday you will get it. Don't lose heart and keep knocking at the doors. There will be somebody who will open that door someday.